Okay, so this this is a lot easier, and I'm going to show you here. Uh, let's say uh, I want to go to the lines again. The lines monitor. So you'll see I can I have the all the list of all the POs, and let's say I wanted to uh, just break it down. I wanted to uh, let's say put in a filter. Let's say SP. I can just put in the filter there. Let's put something in for the warehouse there. See, I can use these filters here. I can say it equals or it starts with or it's greater than or less than if you have a, a numeric field. Uh, one I like here is contains, so I can say if it contains a an R in it, and I tab, I can get all the warehouses, see, that have an R in them, somewhere in them. And then what I can do is I can use multiple filters, actually. I can filter on two or three things, uh, and I can use an advanced filter in combination, so there's a lot of things I can do here. But uh, what I want to show you here is the uh, Excel export functionality. So if I click here, I've got a number of options. I can choose an advanced export where I can change the, the options there of whether I just have a filtered list or whether I have the whole thing. Um, and I can set my settings here. And I can also do an import, which we'll see later. But uh, for now, I'm going to do a quick export. So you can see what, what it's doing here is all of the records that are showing in my filtered list, it's exporting straight out to Excel, which is really, really sweet. This is, in my opinion, the, the best thing about Mingle is the export to Excel and the import from Excel, because even in the web UI up to the latest version before Mingle, uh, you could do the export, uh, and it works similar, but uh, this one is more advanced in the sense you've got all the field names. So this is really good for the techie guys. So you can actually see the uh, name in the table. You can see what type of uh, variable it is, what session it's in, and so on up here. Uh, you can also see, if you see here, uh, it says shift. It's actually, some of these are enums, numerated fields here. So let's see if I can find one. Ah, here we go. Invoicing status. So you can see here when you highlight a field, there's actually a little drop down here that says, and you can filter on this in Excel, or you can just choose it uh, here. So it's it's already a preset list. Whereas in you know, if you were exporting something from Bond 5, you, you might have a list of the, the actual values in the table, uh, but you wouldn't have this drop-down list. It would be something that would just be the text. So quite convenient. All right, pretty slick. So uh, you, can, you can tell that you know, it, it would really be helpful. This is a very, very helpful functionality because you have a lot of these monitor sessions all over you have dashboard sessions and you can you can export you can filter uh look things up so it makes it a lot easier on it right because uh, a lot of the things that i saw when i was in morgan hill were customized reports um so a lot of these things you had to do in bond five to extract data and even then when you extracted it a lot of the information was just text uh, you had to uh, go in and use text to columns in Excel to 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 convert it into columns and so on. So much much easier. Okay, let's save that for now. All right. So when you do an export, a uh, couple nice things that weren't in Bond Five. One is if you had header information here that header information will come on every line. So let's say you had sales order header information up here, like the customer. 
uh, when you export, you'll get the header information will be listed on each line. So whereas in a report, you might get the header information, but it wasn't on all the lines, so it made it kind of inconvenient when you were sorting it in Excel. Now it's on every line. Uh, also, in Bond 5, even if you could, well, it sounds like you couldn't export at all, but even in, in earlier versions of uh, LN, you had separate tabs here. So you had to do it basically screen by screen and tab by tab. So as you can see in that in that output file from Mingle, it actually has all of the tabs. Okay, so very convenient. 